Hey guys, it's Emily Waffles Yay with another How To Rec Room video all about the share camera. Now, whether you just want to take a fun picture with friends or use it for the photo contest, I'm here to show you all the basics about the share camera. So if you don't know what the share camera is, it's this. It's this camera that you can take pictures with and I'll show you how to use it. So let's go somewhere where we can take a whole bunch of pictures. Let's go. All right, here we are in ClearCut because why not? So to take it out from your watch, you just open up your watch, go to the backpack button and it's right here. So you can press this use button and it will grab it right here and it will spawn it in like this or you can favorite it by pressing the favorite button right here. And what that does is it gives you the ability to grab behind you and pull it out wherever you are. But another quick way to take a picture is using the share cam gesture. So to do the share cam gesture, all you have to do is put both of your hands in front of your face like this and pull both triggers. Instant pictures wherever you want. That can be enabled and disabled in your watch. You just go to your settings, advanced, and it's share camera gesture right there. Now the easiest way to take a picture is just using the trigger. Let's look at all of the buttons that are on the camera. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch of buttons. I'll show you what each of them does. So this one is to take a picture. And this is the tripod button. When it's off, it has gravity. So if I drop it, it will fall. But if you want it to stay in the air, you can press the tripod button and let go and it will stay. You can even move around and it will stay in the same spot. This is the flip button. It will either take pictures from the front side like this, but if you press it, it will also take it in selfie mode, which you can take selfies with. Now let's look at the settings. This is the timer button, which will give you a three second timer to take pictures with. So if we press the timer button, go back and press this button, it will count down from three and give us a picture with a timer. And this is the film button. If you didn't know, you can have camera film that will change the filter of what the camera sees. So if you press it, it'll open up your backpack and your watch. You just press the film button and you get these. You can either buy these in the store or get them in random boxes playing games. Let's go ahead and buy some film in the store. So if you open up the watch and enter store, so where it is in the shop is under other, and this is the camera film filter. Let's go ahead and buy some black and white film. So even after buying it, you still have to enable it in your watch. So you can either press that film button in the camera, or you can just go to it from your watch through your backpack by going to your watch and pressing backpack and pressing film. So let's enable black and white and it will take pictures using the black and white filter. And to stop using it, you just press this button to disable it. Now it won't have the filter anymore. Now let's take a look at the buttons when you actually take a picture. One thing to keep in mind is that only you can see the screen of your share camera. No one else can see it. If you want other people to see what you took or you wanna keep a photo, you can press this print button. <laughs> and it will print out a physical copy of the photo to give to other people. This button makes your picture your profile picture. It brings up this box to show you what it would look like and you can press confirm or cancel. Confirm makes it your profile picture, cancel cancels it. And this is the share button, which shares it to your profile on RecNet. I'll teach you about RecNet soon. And this is the back button to go back to taking pictures. Now, let me teach you about the share camera in RecNet. RecNet is Rec Room's social site. You can use it to upload pictures and message friends and check on events, all that kind of good stuff. But let's just focus on the pictures. So let's take a picture and upload it to RecNet. Say cheese. So I'm gonna press the share button. And it says shared on www.rec.net. Now you can access this on your computer and that will be uploaded to my account on RecNet. The cool thing about RecNet is that it tags you in pictures and not just you, other players in the picture. Let's look at taking pictures with other players. So I brought in Star Centurion to help us out with showing how tagging works on RecNet. So let's take a picture with Star. Yes. All right, ready, say cheese. <laughs> Yes. So we took this picture with Star, and if we press the share button, it will also upload it to RecNet, and I'll show you what that does. All right, so that's all I can show you about in-game camera stuff. Now let's look at pictures in RecNet. Woo! All right, now let's look at the RecNet side of things. The link for RecNet will either be in the description, or you can just search RecNet on Google or whatever, and you'll get this page. So first you should log in. So press this login button and enter your information. So when you signed in, this will take you to the RecNet homepage. These are all the pictures that other people have taken. But what we want is the profile button to look at our pictures over here. Now this is the profile and you can see these tabs. So this tab, which is the one that we're on, will show pictures that you have been tagged in, even if it was taken by other people. 
here a picture was taken by Star from the thumbnail because he was helping me out there, and there's me because I was tagged in it. But let's look at our own picture. If you click this tab, it'll show the pictures that you have taken, and you can scroll through all of them. So let's look at the one that I took with Star. Let me show you what all these buttons do. So what this is, it shows who is tagged in each picture. So here's Star with me, so it's gonna, if you hover over this, it'll show his profile. You can click on it, and it'll take you there. This is the Cheers button. Uh, it'll cheer the picture for you. You can comment right here if you're logged in. And if it's your picture, you can press these up here to either set it as your profile picture, set it as your banner, copy the RecNet link, which will do that for you, or it'll delete it. Over here is the uh, privacy settings. You can change it to public, friends, or private. You can make any picture your profile picture or your banner by pressing those three buttons up here. What's cool about the tagging feature is that it'll put every single person who's in the picture tagged and you can click on any of their names and it'll take you to their profiles. So with that, let's go back in the game and we can put all these things together in practice. Alright, so now that you know about the share camera, let's put all of those tips into practice. I set up this little picture, little space with Star. We're just over here having some drinks with a ham. So let's get a nice picture of this. I'm going to take out my share camera. I'm going to turn it around so I can see. I'm going to turn on the tripod so it will stay. I'm going to turn the timer on. And then I'm going to press this button and we're going to pose. And I'll pose it as well. Here you go, Star. Here's what the picture looks like. <laughs> Alright, so that's how to use a share camera. If you just want to take pictures with friends or use it for photo contests, anything you want, I hope that helped you. Huge thank you to Star Centurion for coming in here to help. Uh, I appreciate it. And subscribe <laughs> yeah. for more things Rec Room, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>